Yeah, just come on up. All right. Hey, change of plans, everybody. We uh, totally uh, had someone drop in unexpectedly, and um, uh, wow, you look so afraid. I know. It's fine. It's fine. Like maybe, unexpected. maybe you're afraid because of this. Yeah, I, this I do have a deep fear of penguins. Xavier Toby, who's dressed like a penguin. Hey, man, how's things? No, I'm, I'm a penguin versus Xavier, actually. Okay, we'll right. That up. Why? Uh, why? Why? We'll Sorry. get to you in a second. Yeah, right. I was just. I haven't met you before, what's your name? Josh. Josh! Xavier, <laughs> so, yeah, how you going? That's, that's how we co-host on the show. <laughs> um, now, now sorry, onesie day saying. was yesterday. Yeah, which highly offended me, because I've been wearing this for the whole, like, I wore it for Perth Fringe, yeah. for Adelaide Fringe, and then yesterday I'm out flyering, and everyone's like, oh, so you're going to the onesie party. I'm like, no, everyone here is derivative and annoying me, and I'm not special <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Or you started a fad, either that or... Oh there yeah, or that was my church and I should have rocked up and I'll be like, Hey, I'm here, you're all here for me, <laughs> I started this. Maz, do you have a question? No, that was an accident. Oh. <laughs> okay. Accidental bell. God damn, alright. So Matt, uh, tell everyone what the hell you are and what you're doing here. <laughs> I am also a penguin in disguise. Uh, uh, I'm Just a much better disguise. <laughs> now, uh, funnily enough, dropping in unexpected because I'm in an improvisation show at the moment. Ba-boom. <laughs> yeah. So we met uh, Ben McKenzie the other day. Uh, he came in with Nick doing letters. And, doing letters, but is that the same show? No. Oh, it's a different show. <laughs> I oh. could be in that show. Not that I know of yet. No, no. Uh, it's uh, Dungeons and Improvisation Adventure Show. No, uh -huh. it's, uh Basically, starts off on the night. I don't know who the characters are. I don't know any of the names. I don't know any of the creatures. I don't know any of the items. I don't know what the adventure is going to be on. Roll the dice, an audience put everything in, and then we see what happens. So. Wow. So this is just a show that you've just. <laughs> what, what preparation did you do for the show? Oh, well, I came home frustrated out of my mind and said, Improvisation show. Now, um, Because <laughs> uh, I, I wrote mine. It did you? Ages. Yeah. Oh, if I, I had uh, that idea, I'd have been like, <laughs> This is much easier. Yeah, well, no, I've got like, I've got, um, I basically read the Dungeons and Dragons manual cover to cover, and that was a fun night. Um, <laughs> but uh, I basically got like 100 adventure ideas out of that. So I rolled two die out of 100, and then like, first three shows we've had, the first story idea was a group of gnomes build an airship. And that involved a shower monster trying to find a shower based with an elephant who had uh, testosterone problems and something to do with a golem and an elephant baby. Then the second show <laughs> sure. was, a, was a romantic comedy where a, where a m evil wizard who stole a bunch of knitting women, put them into a mine underground to knit magic for him, tried to ruin a wedding of a half gerbil, half human, and a woman who didn't like to be touched. And the third third show was uh, the best. It was an old woman telling her tales of adventure and how she married a man who looked very similar to her grandson with the one ring of power and oh god it's just uh, I've yeah, I'd like to see you in a week when you have to <laughs> tell everyone the everything that's gone on in the last week. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, right. So, have you ever done this before? No, no, this is a uh, brand this new. Is the first. This and where are you from? Uh, I'm I'm from South Australia. Okay. Bread. Um well, born, not so sure, bred. But um <laughs> yeah, uh, just uh, been here for a while I thought uh, I, because I did the last few fringes I'm like I need to do a show by myself because I'm a bit bored with just the and yet I don't want to write or put any preparation <laughs> in well I'm first time I would time... like to do what I would do in my basement at home well, I don't have a basement so oh. that, that's I pretend to have a basement that's how much improvisation I have imagination I, I walk yeah I walk outside and I'm like this is my basement and then do I you walk improvise up. everything in your life pretty much okay I, I've been doing it since I was about four so right just going off the top here I could like I'm kind of fine with that I have but, a question yes Maybe go ahead. How, how do you, like, because um, a lot of people would say improvising is just making stuff up. Mm. Okay, but it's not. <laughs> no. You do training. Yes. How do you train to make stuff up? You are like the hundredth person who's asked me how. Yeah, yeah, but I'm sure. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So you should have a prepared answer for this. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Well, that's a good question. Now, um, what you do with improv is you literally just run the same scene. Burnt with a scroll, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. An imagination scroll. See? Yeah, so he's done that. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, the thing with improv is when you rehearse it, you've got to um, just do everything unexpectedly so that you can work out. It's like if you do something the same way twice, you know that you're not doing improv. So it's literally like one scene, you'd be like, okay. Uh, the, the one I did when I was drilling my actors was um, like, what's a sport that you wouldn't see in the Vatican? And someone came back very quickly with lacrosse, which was just fantastic. But, um, and then there would be, it would be a show about lacrosse. And then you just go there, and then you just go like that. And it's like, okay, cool, I like these characters. Just things just come out of nowhere. People introduce stuff. And you, basically the thing with improv is you give an offer, you've got to accept it. So like, for example, if we were doing improv, and I just say, it's like, hey, you want to go pick some apples? 
Yes. Yeah. Then we go off, and then hilarity ensues. There may be a penguin there. There may be a dragon. Who knows? Maybe the apples are poisonous. Maybe there's someone there trying to steal us. But that based on the other improvisers. Maybe the tree is alive. That's happened once to me so far, in real life, not an improv. But have you ever <laughs> considered Ritalin? <laughs> 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 There's an option. I'm not saying it's the answer, but it's. <laughs> I, I'm actually a psychology student as well. So, um, <laughs> of course you are. Yeah, also a law student. That's slightly defamatory. Good lord! <laughs> you covered both bases there. Yeah, yeah you're exactly. like, right. I'm pretty sure I'm mental, so I work out that. <laughs> yeah. If that doesn't work out, and I actually am mental, do something wrong, I've covered that as yeah, well. Exactly. So that's, I yeah. know my defenses. I know how I can get out. I yeah. know the little bit in between. I, I just look at people and I'm like, hmm, legal advice. Hmm, Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. Now, uh, do you do improv during the year? Around? Um, I've started getting into it a little bit. Okay. Um, but this is, yes. And whereabouts? And if people wanted to see improv during the year in uh, good old South Australia, oh, what would they South do? It? There's one fantastic team who I've been, uh, uh, been working with and seeing, uh, Changing Jennifers. They're absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And they've got a show on the fringe as well, at the moment as well. Um, but yeah, they're, they're fantastic. They go year round. And I'm trying to get into a team that may appear throughout the year. This is just kind of to test the waters to see if it can work out. Test the waters just by doing a whole show where you improvise <laughs> on there, right? Yeah, first, yeah seriously, open up, uh, walked up on stage and I'm like, well, I really hope the audience like it. Read the first review and I'm like, oh good, they really liked it. Oh, nice, excellent. Now, what kind of, what is a good audience member for you? Do you want people who are chatty and yelling stuff out? Do you want it to be slightly drunk? Do you want it to be... <laughs> Fairly Christian. Uh, oh, the, <laughs> I, I've had some Christians in the moment. I think one of them put the suggestion in of a vibrator, which I thought was a little bit condescending. Um, well, Christians. Well, they can't do it before marriage, so. <laughs> after after I think marriage, that, just, you know, that's what I'm familiar with. Wedding presents for a I Christian, am, a vibrator is the perfect gift. <laughs> I was going to make a joke there, but I probably alienate all the Christians and Catholics there. And, uh, but yeah, um, uh, before the show... Says the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's never been used in everyday conversation before. <laughs> and, um, but before the show, I'll get everyone to write down like a name, a creature, and an item. And they all get chucked in, and then it's a probability of odds and such, and I take one out. But I'm, I'm fine with the audience members who are trying to watch people fail. Yeah. Because they're like, you know, like some of them are put in there. It's like, aha, I'll put, you know, the it I'll put the the, uh, the item in there, vibrator, and they'll and they'll fail. And then someone got the vibrator, and they made a really good use of it. Not use <laughs> of it, but they addressed it. So if they're putting all their pieces on a things on a piece of paper, yeah. How did you know they were Christian? Did they put a little <laughs> fish next to it? Or? It was the handwriting. It vibrator, was, peace be with you. Or? Yeah, there's a little bit of wine and biscuit on it. Just, <laughs> just, just like, to, to put in the body of Christ. Yes. I have another question. Hello. Ooh. Now, you're asking for suggestions from the audience. Yes. Now, surely, because most people are, would offer up the same thing repeatedly. Mm. So then you get the same suggestions. Yeah. So then that's not improvisation because you've ah. done it before. Yeah, but so far I haven't had any two of the same. The, the only time oh, was a. Boring. <laughs> only time was a preview show where two people put Beyonce Knowles in there. So I just made a forest of, forest of Beyonce's and that was just really entertaining. But um, It would be. A lot, Imagine that. <laughs> a lot of. Yeah, nice it's, 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 yeah it's that face. <laughs> nice Although it's that face she pulled during Super Bowl, you know. You know that one on Super oh, Bowl? Okay. I'm not sure. Could you do it into the camera with a close up? <laughs> That's, that's a mate. If when I had a forest <laughs> of Beyonce Knowles, is I'll just have a whole lot of really nice peaches. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now, what's your, what's your favourite improv game to play? Ooh, um, my favourite is uh, called Half-Life, where you play a 30-second scene, and then you play that exact same scene in 15 seconds, and then you play that exact same scene 7.5, then 3.25, and then 1-something. So it literally just starts off, it's like, oh, you know, I've got a problem, da 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 da, -da, -da. Resolved, and then much, much faster, then much, much faster, then everyone just jumps in and dies. Well, I was going to say let's try that, but that sounds way too physical for this type of stage. <laughs> so uh, plug your show one more time uh, and let people know when and where they can see it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Dungeons and Improvisation Adventure Show, Nexus Cabaret Artist Centre, I believe that's the proper title. Our last two shows, Monday and Tuesday at 7pm. Oh, I know, right, but the two, no two shows have been the same so far, so if you want to see both... <laughs> it's like, what are you <laughs> failing? Like, how is that advertising? <laughs> <laughs> Great plug, Dave. It, it, it no, no. Well, no, no, okay, you're doing what you says on the tin, like, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not like, hey, here's some beef, but we're doing horse meat. Like, you're actually doing yeah. the beef. It's that's beef, good. but it might also be horse meat, or it might be riding a horse. Who knows? Oh, it's improvisation, anything could happen. Yay! Please <laughs> thank George, ladies and gentlemen. Yay!